so it's another day back out of the shop. Yesterday before I left here, I went ahead and I stripped out the entire car, pulled everything out, the trans tunnel radiator, all the floor pans and the fuel cell, all that stuff. Here you can take a good look at my diff while I got the cover off and everything. Um, but yeah, right, right now we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna mix up some paint so I'll be able to show you guys how I mix it up, uh, what ratio I use. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the white and I'm just gonna start covering up some of all of this splatter shit in here. So I'm just gonna do that. First, I gotta set up the compressor. Well, not set it up, just plug it up, get my uh, air gun out, blow out the entire car, um, and yeah, just start painting. All right, so change of plans. I just blew and vacuumed out the entire car and I need to pull it outside, wash it off, wet sand the inside a bit and uh, get some of this stuff up because there's a lot more on the floor than I thought and a bit of it is like kind of ground into the paint. So I'm just gonna have to take it out there, wet sand it a little bit and then we can go ahead and mix up the paint and then put it on there. So I'm gonna open up this door and then bring her out there. So something I did in order to help me get the car out there, since I have such an incline, as soon as you go out my door, it's pretty drastic. I mean, it may not look like it on camera, but when uh, yeah, when you're here and you push a car out there, it will roll straight out to that fence. So what I've done is when I got this shot, they already had, um, oh yeah, my compressor's in the way. Scoot that back. They already had some studs in the floor, so I just hooked the chain up to it, got to come along, and then, ran that under here so yank it out bam there's the come along the entire thing slides out it's hooked up this can hook up to the strap on the back of the car and then you can roll it out there bring it all the way down to the end of the driveway that way i can use the hose and get it the whole thing washed out without putting in all the water in here which i've been doing lately and the whole shop floor is pretty ruined i may have to like paint this or something i don't know it's bad and that's like Rust-Oleum oil-based paint. So maybe if I pressure wash it, it'll be all right. But so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, hook up this, come along, get this thing outside, hook up the hose, start wet sand. And there it is, cars outside. So we can go ahead, hook up our hose, start washing this thing out.
so I was able to get this door all sanded down and that was with 15 or a thousand fifteen hundred then I went to two thousand I didn't do any twenty five hundred yet I'll go ahead and compound and wax it first and then I was able to go ahead and also clean out the entire interior sanded it up I just hit it with a little bit um, one of those uh, pads whatever they are I forgot what they're called but um hit it with one of those little sanding pads and it came out pretty decent so that'll definitely help when I lay the next uh, coat of paint should be pretty good over there was pretty hard to get I don't know I think I might have dropped some actual solid paint not any mixed uh, or thinned out paint I should say so yep came out pretty good so next step was just gonna be to go ahead sand the other door I have it set up out here so I'll just go ahead hose that down sand it up real quick throw it up there and then we can try to compound those and wax them I don't know if I'll get to that tonight it's getting pretty laid out and I need to get out of here I've been up till 3 in the morning every day for this this whole week and it's already Thursday so I might, I'm gonna try to get out of here pretty early tonight so I'll just see what I can do before it gets too dark and uh, yep, I'll check back in with you before I get out of here so let's do it So the car's back in. I was able to sand down both doors. I ran out of uh, battery and I still have to get another battery for the DSLR. So I only have one. So every time it dies, I have to charge it, which is kind of a pain in the ass. So between memory cards filling up and batteries dying, it's kind of been in, uh, pain filming tonight. But yep, I was able to uh, get, like I said, both of them film, uh, sanded and the inside sanded. So tomorrow when I get over here, I will buff this up. Uh, I'm going to compound it and wax it and then go ahead and start painting the inside. So by the end of tomorrow, this should all be done. And uh, yeah, we'll move on to something else. So I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll finish this up.